In this video, I want to briefly talk to you about combinations and just looking at how we find the answers to some of our common combination problems that we have in Algebra 2. This is a lot to throw at you at once, but I want you to focus what's on that green box, okay? Combinations are how many different groups are possible. Permutations are also how many different groups, but in permutations, the order matters. Now, there's a lot of groups that the order doesn't matter. For example, if I were to pick three people to volunteer to help help me with something, I'm just picking three people. I'm not going to say, oh, well, you first, you second, you third, and I'm giving you three different jobs, then that is a permutation. So let's look at some real examples. How many ways can five players be chosen for a game of dodgeball from a team of eight? So let's imagine we're playing dodgeball and we have eight people on the team. Three people are going to be our substitutes. So we only need five people to play. It's not like baseball where putting a, a player in a specific position depends on their skill level. Dodgeball is kind of a free for all. We're going to pick five people and then they can run around. So this is really a group. If you're picking for a sport that has specific positions like football or baseball or even to some extent basketball, then you would usually think of this as a permutation because the five players on the court or on the field if you take the same five players and put them in different positions it's a whole different team but for dodgeball we're going to say hey five players on a dodgeball team if i pick them in a different order they're still the same five people out there playing dodgeball so the way we're going to do this we're going to go to desmos and we're going to type in ncr and then we put our two numbers in our problem has two numbers eight and five we always put the big number first the first number is the number we're choosing we use c because this is a combination if it were a permutation we'd use p and the r is the number that we're selecting out of that and so we have eight choose five and we end up with 56 it does the math for us we could do all the factorial stuff like we saw in the formulas but we don't have to and if you have a ti 83 or 84 you're going to see that right under math there's a whole section just devoted to, hey, we just type in what goes in those parentheses. Another example of 11 students on a club, how many ways can a three person committee be, firm, be formed? So we have 11 people to choose from and we want a committee to look at our logo or whatever. So we're picking three people. It doesn't matter which three, what the order of those three, they're gonna work together as a team. So we're going to say this is a combination. And so we're going to do NCR 11 choose 3. We get 165 for our answer. Done deal. Again, these are going to feel bigger than maybe make us comfortable. Maybe it feels like there shouldn't be that many options. But I'll tell you what, there'd be a lot more options if it was a permutation. Sundays come in with three toppings at Dan's Ice Cream Parlor. How many different possible combinations could you choose out of seven topping choices? So this is a combination. You could argue that the order you put the toppings in makes a difference. <laughs> I know that some people are like, well, if you put the, the chocolate on first and then the whipped cream, right, I get it. But we're gonna treat this like a combination because we're gonna say, hey, you're gonna tell the person to put them on there. And listen, they're just gonna put them on there. They're not gonna listen to you and go, uh, oh, I get it. They wanted them in this order. So that's why I'm treating it like a combination. So we just type in NCR 7, 3, and our answer is 35 different choices. Last example for you. This one sounds a little bit weird, but I want to walk you through it. If you flip a coin eight times, how many different sequences could you get resulting in exactly four heads? So for example, I could get heads, 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 just straight off the bat, get four heads, and then I could get four tails. That is one way I could get four heads. It's probably not very likely, right? Because the odds of me getting four heads in a row and then four tails in a row isn't very likely. I could also get heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails. I could just alternate. So there's a bunch of different ways I could get it, but all this is is a combination. We have eight different options and we're choosing four of them. So we end up with 70. Thank you so much. If you could like and subscribe, I'll see you next time.